Hello everybody, and welcome back to Golden Sun The Lost Age. I'm Chocolate Milk, and beside me, or not- Sort of. Yeah, not physically beside me, I have. <laughs> the man who's sick of midterms, base 6286. <laughs> and he is very kind to take time out of his busy schedule to uh, co-commentate Golden Sun today. So, we were in the Kandorian Temple last time, we learned Lash from the monk. Even though he, we're not monks, he gave it to us anyways, because we're cool like that. And uh, now we can leave, because there's nothing else they can teach us, which is unfortunate. Monks are pretty cool. I wish that they could teach me how to levitate or something, but no. No dice. Not these monks. And now you'll see that I can just absolutely rip through all of these enemies. No problem. I feel like RPGs can never find a balance with like random battles. They're either too hard and just obnoxious, or they're so easy, there's no point to them. We're actually doing a bit of backtracking, because now that we have Lash, we can go back and help those two... boys? I don't know. Two kids. <laughs> I, I can't tell what gender The boy and the... the girl boy... thing. But anyway, the, the one kid was stuck over here, so we need to use Lash. I know, I'm so nice. I want to be a great mother. Thing. <laughs> Excellent work, Felix. Hey, the rope! Awesome, Riki! Way to go! Uh... Are you Excuse blind? Me, do, I... <laughs> yeah. do I look like Riki to you? <laughs> do I look like a five-year-old boy? Who are you? We're just passing through. How come you threw me the rope? Because okay. you're five? We'd heard that you needed some assistance. Well, whatever. Thanks anyway. Ungrateful kid. What? Hey, Tavi! How'd you get down from there? Uh, Magic. maybe the rope? <laughs> These guys threw me the rope. Really? These grown ups? Well, whatever. Now we can go nab that critter we saw. Are these kids? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? That little guy's so fast. I can't catch him. Do you think we could catch him together? Well, yeah. Except that every time I'm about to grab him, he flies off. So I guess it wouldn't matter if we work together or not. Yeah, I guess not. But the scenario she described was only one person trying. <laughs> Well, that's too bad. Stupid kids. <laughs> right. Hey, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since before I got stuck. Yeah, same here. My stomach's growling up a storm. Let's go home, Riki. Sounds good, Tavi. I mean, Navi. I mean, never mind. W were the names really necessary? I, I don't know. <laughs> They're gone. Well, it was good of you to help them. We should be going to. And we'll never see them again. Dun dun dun. Alright, so this cave I do believe has uh, places you can come back and revisit like much later, but for the time being, the creature they're describing is actually a djinn. So that's why we're here. We're going to collect our first djinn for Sheba. You can see if you go over here, you won't be able to grab it, so... You know. Fiddlesticks. Trollolol. Often when you go to find a uh, gin on the world map or in dungeons or you can't just walk right up to them they always make you do this long complicated sort of mechanism to get to them which can be a huge pain in the butt you gotta work for them gin yeah i also don't think that there's any new battles in here except for jenna also completely owns everything in this area go jenna go footprints Apparently these just gin left footprints. I don't know. Was it like sliding? Because as far as I could see, that thing was like floating. I'm like, I don't know. Whatever. Random. If you go to the southernmost one, you'll come down to this area. If you go to the left or the right one, you will come over where that bridge is. So you want to take the southern path just to make your life easier. Take Everybody off. likes an easier life. Especially in a game like this where you can go in circles and accomplish absolutely nothing. What? There he is! Catch him! He'll, he'll eventually land over here. Stupid thing. 
one day. Because if you go to the left or the right, he's going to be on the bottom, and if you go to the bottom, he's going to be on the top. Just, just because. Just See, he somehow because. knows where you're going to go. and. You see that? <laughs> yeah. Are we in an episode of Scooby-Doo? <laughs> yeah. All we need is the uh, the music and the comical, uh, like, foot running music. I don't oh, know yeah, the pitter-patter. Yeah, the pitter-patter and the, the going through, like, eight different doors that look the same. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, coming out of, like, two parts of your body or coming out of two different doors or some ridiculousness like that. <laughs> Some logic that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Which would mean illogical. <laughs> Which would be yeah. Logical. Exactly. <laughs> the opposite of logic. <laughs> Alright, so up here he's gonna make you chase him around. Uh, if you don't push the flame in front, all he's gonna do is jump over the gap, which is defeats the purpose of catching him because you're gonna be stuck here forever. But we can trap him with fire and get over here. And now he's pissed. <laughs> now he's like why did you just let me be on my own, those stupid kids, and now you? Get out of here. What's this? You're trying to burn me? How dare you? We're not leaving without a fight, sir. And... I think we've already fought one. So, we've already seen what it looks like in a fight. The ones... These ones will still run away, even if they are in a uh, dungeon, but they're less likely to run away than ones you find on the world map. And they're pretty easy to defeat. It's really not a whole lot of... Effort, I just choose to use Psy Energy, just in case they do run away, though. It's a lot easier. Makes it quicker. And it's going to magically merge into us, and we get, uh, Breathe. Or Breath, however you want to say. I, I say Breathe, but... Anyhow. Since this is Sheba's, we're going to trade it. And you can see her stats will go up. Now, unfortunately, Jenna is kind of shafted, because if we set Fog, she'll get some Psy Energy learned, but then she'll lose all of her good fire magic, and you can see her stats are really super wonky, so I'm just gonna leave it on the way it is right now. And then you'll see over here there's a lot of areas we just really can't do anything with, so we'll come back later. I don't think I've shown, I don't think I've shown this off yet, but if you're in a temple and you don't want to walk, you can use Retreat, which will return you to the dungeon's entrance. Handy. It's very handy, especially when you're lazy and you want to save time on a video. BAM! Just like that. Exited. That makes things a whole lot easier. I guess you should go back and see if these kids actually made it back. Those two losers are back home now, eating their snacks. Oh, well that's good. <laughs> the Dread Pirate Briggs was captured in Madra. If that guy were free, you, would, you could bet he'd be coming after our village. Okay, a little bit of foreshadowing. And all of the rain water, or the, I guess tidal wave water went away, but all there is now is just these little pools of water. Somewhat random. It's like they dried up, but not completely. Yeah. I don't know. This girl, if you watch the first game, I'm sure you'll know what we'll be doing with those. Yeah. And the item shop girl still will not sell us anything. She's like, oh, the kids are back safe and sound, but I don't want to make any money, so whatever. Because she's a... Well, I was going to say she's a whore, but I guess she'd be an opposite of that. Yeah. Which she's not putting out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can see this kid's like munching the hell on this food. Mm -hmm. Dad was so mad that we were late. He said, no dinner for you. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, what? give me the dinner. Meh. Who stays outside until he's absolutely famished? And would it have hurt to let us know where he was going? Yeah, clearly, he was up to no good. Let me tell you, kids are a lot of work. If they're not out getting in trouble, they're inside and they're eating. That's why I don't have kids. <laughs> so I think Riki's in that house and Tavi's in this one. Hmm, don't tell anyone we were in the Shrine of the Sea God, and I, apparently they're going to eat this village out of house and home. Yeah. Tavi wolfed down a snack and just asked for more. Oh, okay, so he is a boy. Oh. Well, whatever. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> he must think we're here to feed him, I swear. Well, you, you... Well, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Our little one is finally home. I don't know where he got to for all that time. That's kind of that's kind of your job as a provider is to feed your children. <laughs> right. I don't know. God damn these kids! I have to feed them. Ah. <laughs> oh. <gasps> that's where you went. In a house, Felix. He was just resting. 
Well, well, our happy little family is back together again. Alex, where did you go? He's like, I'm not gonna tell you, whatever. <laughs> to look for a ship, of course. Oh, of course, I'm ready. <laughs> is that what Creighton said? Pretty sure. It I is. don't. I don't even know. Yeah, that's what Creighton said. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. And did you find one? Clearly not. Unfortunately, there are none to be had. That sounds hard to believe. I spoke to the mayor, and he suggested that we try the large town south of us. Hmm. Is that where you're going? Where else would he go? <laughs> yes, Madra may have boats available. That would be the most logical move. So what do you think? Should we go to Madra with Alex? Yeah, sounds good. Ah, you want to travel with me? Only if we can use you in combat. <laughs> What? You don't like that idea? <laughs> not with Jenna. Gosh, she's so moody all the time. <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm just preoccupied. Uh, with things other than finding a ship? <laughs> Self-absorbed is more like it. Well, he can handle himself. I simply prefer to work alone. Forever alone. If that's the case, we'll let you be. But, okay. <laughs> Isn't that not a little suspicious to you people? Like, whatever. Perhaps you will see me in Madra. So we're both going to Madra, but you're just gonna ditch us. Well, I wanna use your awesome powers, why? <laughs> right? Ah, <laughs> oh, the nerve of that guy. And then they'll just stand around for a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah, I know. Now I just want to find a boat before he does. But well, then we should move. <laughs> we, should, we should stop standing around. Let's be on our way. Yes, let's. Good idea, Kratom. And then, of course, th yeah, and then they just stand around for an extra additional five seconds. It's like, what? <laughs> Why? So that's pretty much all there is to do. I'm going to stay at the end just to restore all my energy and my psi energy. And for some reason, those people are spinning around in a circle, probably, presumably dancing, but doing a terrible job at it. Oh, old graphic. <laughs> and not being able to show anything. So, yeah, and what are you dancing to? I, I don't see like a boombox or someone playing the flute or something here. <laughs> yeah, you weren't watching, were you? I was just practicing for the show we're putting on tonight. <gasps> so oh, oh, there, oh. the prostitutes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's. But there's uh... no poles. <laughs> They didn't have pulls then, back then. <laughs> oh a good old-fashioned lab dance will do. Alright, so Madra is southeast of... I always forget the name of that town. I think it's... Dot... Dahlia or something, or... Wow, do not even remember, but... That tit noun... That noun's tame is... Un <laughs> That I'm town. Just speaking riddles now. <laughs> that town That's we're going to, or that town we were just in. Yeah, that place. You'll see. We'll also get into some new enemies as we get over here. A little tougher, but still nothing really uh, insanely crazy or anything. Death to all. <laughs> so we get, we'll get some more experience, and hopefully we'll be able to get uh, more levels and stuff. But of course, you can't just get to the town. You have to go through an area, you know, like a mini. Not really a dungeon, but a, a crossing. This game loves to do that. Put like crossings in between roads, and they're usually very, very irritating. So we will uh, attempt the Deccan Dukan Deku Plateau next time. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>